I have an iPhone 6 Plus here that doesn't see any Wi-Fi networks. Um, I, so the history is I replaced the Touch IC, Mason, and Cumulus. And um, everything was working. The Wi-Fi was definitely working before I replaced it. And um, I also replaced the digitizer connector. Okay, so place all three of these, put it all back together, and then no Wi-Fi. So usually um, I assume it is this thing right here. And this is the Wi-Fi, one of the Wi-Fi antennas. And um, so this thing right here normally connects to. So if you're looking at the six plus digitized connectors are here. This thing right here normally connects to here, and I can't zoom out far enough, but this connects to here. And what usually happens is that if you look a little closely here, let's see right there. Okay. So this kind of bends and breaks, and uh, this will also cause a no Wi-Fi. Um, can't find any Wi-Fi networks. Okay, so this basically just kind of breaks. So what I normally do is I'll just solder this back on. So that's number one. Okay, as you can tell, this one's broken as well. So I, I need to just there's normally like a piece of plastic that or some sort of a paste that kind of goes over there to protect it from grounding. So you just kind of peel it off and solder it back on, and uh, normally that fixes the problem. Okay, so that's normally the problem, but I checked it, replaced it, still didn't find um, any network. So, um, so the next thing is there's another Wi-Fi connector. This thing right here. Okay, and. Uh, so far I can zoom out. Okay, so this thing normally connects to the top of the frame here. The top of the frame and this, this thing right here connects to the underside of the logic board, okay? And uh so basically right here. Connects to the underside of it. Alright. So this is the back Wi Fi area. All the Wi Fi cellular stuff is up in here. And uh, connects to that. Okay, so I checked that, replaced it. Still, no Wi-Fi. So, you know, I you know I hate disassembling, unscrewing everything, and it's just a pain in the butt. So, I eventually did it because I didn't know where else to go. So I looked. So basically, this is this is pretty much all of your Wi-Fi stuff right here. It's all up here. Okay, I believe there's probably a few small components inside here and stuff like that, but the majority of your Wi-Fi stuff is here, and on this side, I believe this is part of it as well. Okay, so normally you look around here. Okay, this looks clean right here, and then I turn it over to this side, and lo and behold, that right there missing. I have no idea what happened to that. It's probably when I um, maybe fixed the connector, it popped it off. It's supposed to look like. I have one kind of set up already because I'm about to take it from a donor board here, but it's supposed to look like that. So you can get a better picture of it. It's supposed to look like that, okay. Instead, it got popped off somehow. So anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this from the donor board and move it over to the other board and hopefully that'll fix my Wi-Fi problem. Alright? So this is a junk board, but I'm gonna need these other components later on. So I got my hot air set up, and I'm just gonna um what do I have it set to probably 415, I think. So 415. I'm just gonna heat it up, take it off, pop another one. Should be fairly simple since it's only six leads and it's pretty big. That's it right there.
All right, let's clean this puppy up first. Um, all right. Hmm, a flux here. And where is my solder? <laughs> I need to get some more solder. Probably fell down on the stairs. Alright, so turn on my fume extractor. Alright, so let's get all the old stuff off and uh, clean it up a little bit and resolder the new one on. No, no idea what that is. I think I'm actually going to use a little, well, yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of a wick. Alright. So with solder wick, you really just want to... And what I've noticed is that these little solder uh, pads right here the ones that hold a lot of that's hard to kind of get off all of the um, solder they're usually ground I don't know why it is but for some reason the ground pads just don't solder does not come off those pads as easy so with, with a wick you really just want to dabble okay uh, you don't really you know we don't really want to pull any pads so don't really apply any pressure so just kind of I'll just kind of go pretty quick if it gets stuck push it it's got some old stuff on it all right um let's see right here. All right. <clears throat> Clean this up. It's probably a little bit too much isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I stuck this thing through the ultrasonic cleaner after I was done with Touch IC. Maybe that messed it up. That's the only thing I can think of. Alright. So, let's... You know what? Let's just put it back on and then we'll apply solder later. So I don't even know which way it goes. Alright, let's take a look at another board here. Find out which way it goes. Oh, 
All right. The little rectangular box is on the bottom, so I have it right. So let's get my tweezers. Uh, get a little bit of flux there again. Clean flux. And so I'm gonna get my tweezers. Just put a little bit at the end. Is this one broken? Seriously. It's chipped. That sucks. Just like that. No big deal. I don't think the chip will affect it. Um, because it looked like it was just, uh, I don't think it was part of the actual component. Just kind of like the shell. I guess we'll find out for sure later. Alright. I think we're good. Alright. There he goes. Alright. It doesn't have to be too pretty. Um, I will clean that up a little bit though. Let's see, no flux here. I'm gonna use my big iron. And I will just touch it up. Alright, I think that's good enough. Okay, so clean it up one final time here. You know what? I don't even know what this chip is. Let's see what it is. So that's anyways, that's the final right there. I'm gonna minimize this and let's see if we can find out what chip this is. I think it's this one. You GPS cell. Does that look right? No, it's the top one. It's this one. Wi-Fi duplexer. Okay, that makes sense. So that's definitely the problem, and this should definitely fix it. All right. So I'd be surprised if it didn't. So let's plug it back in. I'm gonna pause it. All right. So I tested it, and the Wi-Fi worked perfectly. So um, that was definitely the problem. So you have an iPhone 6 Plus with no Wi-Fi network, um, and you've checked both antenna uh, antenna cables. Then what I would do is look on the back of your logic board and see if something like this is missing. And uh, what you can also do is just kind of do a search for Wi-Fi, like maybe this one, or it's, it's got to be. Most of the Wi-Fi, all, almost all the Wi-Fi stuff is up here, so I would look in this area, okay? So, there you go.